So here we got the open log black box recorder. And this uh, got a little SD card slot. Header pins. Alright. So, as you see here, as a uh, bought for default bootloader Pro Mini AT Mega 328p 5 volt 16 hertz. Hey, you come down here. Look down here, it says it's got the open log back black box firmware already on it. And all that we gotta do is power it up. And uh, with the micro SD card, wait 10 seconds. And I should have a config.txt file. Well, I do that and I get absolutely nothing. Blue light blinks a few times and that's about it. So, we're gonna fix that issue. Alright, so the first thing we tried was I tried to, as you can see here, set the uh, board for Arduino Pro. I set the board for Arduino Pro. Alright. And then I set it for 16 hertz, 5 volts. And set my PCOM port. And whenever I try and upload it, I get programmer is not responding well being that the lights flashing whenever I plug it in at first tells me at least we got power everything seems alright but if it's not responding they claim it has a bootloader well let's try and load our own so this is what I'm going to show you guys how to do I have grabbed this picture here and I also have an Arduino Nano and I've hooked it up as you can see here let's see, get some better light alright, so I got it all hooked up the couple things that this picture does not say <clears throat> was I needed a 10k resistor between my plus 5 volts and the reset pin and then I also needed to put in a, they recommended at the same time I do that, that I put in a capacitor. And what is that? That's a 100 microfarad. So just a little 100 microfarad capa capacitor. And I soldered onto those little pins. Now, <clears throat> excuse me. This one here is the one I've already fixed. This is how I know this all works. As you can see, the pads are very, very small. I actually had to use an X-Acto knife and scrape it a little bit until I got actual copper. But it seems like, even though the picture's not the exact same, these are all the same as far as the pinouts if you got those actual pads even if they're covered alright so back to what we were doing so we hooked this up and now we're ready let me show you guys I got a second Arduino Nano here and I'm going to show you this full process because it was a little complicated and I had to read a whole bunch on getting this set up properly so let's take this brand new Arduino Nano we're going to plug her in Okay, should flash a little bit here. Alright, let's use this to hold her down. Alright, so we've got our brand new Arduino Nano plugged in. And what I had to do was I had to come up here to board. And I had to select, of course, Arduino Nano. And then I had to go to Tools. Port select my COM port, we're on COM port 8 now here's where it gets good, you gotta go to programmer and then Arduino as ISP, don't do Arduino ISP, Arduino as ISP alright, and then we're gonna go to file and then we're gonna go to, I believe it was examples, yeah and then Arduino ISP and then we gotta take this sketch before you hook up all this stuff don't hook up any of this stuff just have your blank Arduino and 
upload this sketch. All right, so it's going to do its thing, compiling. All right, now it's uploading. All right, done uploading. Now we should be able to hook up our wires. Now you can hook up all your wires. So without me shorting this shit out with my pair of tweezers, I'll hook this one. All right. So now I'm gonna shut the. So now we have the Arduino Nano flashed, and let's try and burn the bootloader to the open load device. Grab my cable here. Plug it in. Okay. So we get some flashing. All right, everything's good. And also remember. We need the resistor 10k ohm. I think it's pretty much optional, but hey, might as well get the 100 microfarad cap in there. All right, so now we're gonna come back to Arduino, and we're gonna go up here to Tools, and we're gonna go Board, and I wanna do Arduino Uno, and then Com 8, Arduino is ISP, and then we're going to burn the bootloader. So here we go, burning bootloader, if it does right, it's going to flicker and do all kinds of stuff. Well, I failed. Okay, so I'm not so sure why it failed the first time, because I just went down here and did run boot burn bootloader this thing went wild oh, there it goes I missed it again and it says done burning bootloader so let's do it one more time it's probably not good for it but this will be the last time the bootloader will ever be burned on this guy alright so we're going to burn bootloader clicked it get some flashing lights ok done burning bootloader Right, so now that part's done. Now, I'm sure that there's a way to program the firmware onto here via this method. I'm not going to risk it. I'm going to hook it up to my FTDI guy, so I'll see you in a moment. Alright, so now we're just going to plug this guy in. Okay. Now we have the bootloader written to the chip. And it's actually communicating. Look at that. So now, this is an FTDI 232. It's got the jumper for the 3.3 and 5 volts. Always use 5 volts on this stuff. Alright, so now, let's write the firmware. Just going to set this guy here. message. So now we're going to go here. Got our Arduino Uno selected. Now since it's reflashed it changes the COM6. Okay. So now man I say so now a lot don't I? Alright let's go ahead and we're going to upload our minimal got to rebuild it because we selected our board. Okay. Hold this here. <clears throat> Alright, so we're still compiling the sketch. Takes a moment. It's a lot of stuff. That programming okay 
now we've done uploaded now we're getting our three beeps because we need an SD card Okay. now we're good to go rock and roll happy flying alright so after doing a little experimenting here on the very last one this is an added little bonus clip I went ahead and hooked up another one of these chips and let's just whenever I did the uh, the burn bootloader I got that same error message the very first time but I went ahead and did it a second time and it took the the bootloader right away and then the next thing was was instead of hooking up the FTDI oops Instead of hooking up the FTDI-232 adapter here, I left this hooked up. And I went up here, and I'll show you guys this one. I went up here, and I went to upload using programmer. Alright, so it took a little bit of time to compile the sketch. And once it compiled the sketch, it took right off. As you see, there it goes. So now it's uploading the it's uploading this firmware to the open log and now you don't have to use a, a, a uh, 232 adapter. takes a little longer I think but hey there it goes now we got the uh, diagnostic light of three beeps saying hey give me an SD card <laughs>